Hello, and welcome to the McFeagal Show. I am Snuff Anybody McFeagal. It's the 3rd of December, 2017. So, let's do a Christmassy review here. The review we will be doing will be Samuel Gawith's Peppermint Dark. I'm sorry I can't show you the the true tin decanted it and used the tin for something else haven't got a clue on where it is I also apologize for the poor lighting it's gotten late in the evening here in Denmark and normally you do get I do use uh, natural light for my videos because it doesn't look artificial well but let's get on with the review let's see what the snuff looks like Okay, let's try this angle. And again, bad lighting, but let's see what we can find out here. The color is black or super, super dark brown. You do see kernels here that ain't true black, but most of this snuff is black. Okay. So, the grind. The grind, if we get at some of these kernels here, and it, it's a massive bump I put out here, so we can have a better look at it. The grains are very, very big, but it's as much a case of them kind of purling up. You can see you can like squeeze them out and the moisture level is nice and high so this is in my book a coarse coarse snuff with high moisture and that can both be a blessing and kind of a curse it's easy to sniff and you won't get throat hits it's damn hard keeping in your nose and it often clogs but let's get on with the review okay that was what the snuff looks like so let's do the the real review okay the tin note yes I do get peppermint but peppermint Ain't the dominating scent here in the tin note. And it's a good peppermint that is there. It's a very dark tobacco-y scent. That is the dominant thing here. Very earthy, slightly smoky. Uh, tarmac. And a wee bit of something uh, vaguely chemically oily. It's like a very, very faint saint scent of creosote. That's the tin note, at least as far as I my nose can pick up. So, and moist, of course. Let's have a big, big, big fat pinch. Cheers. Yeah. And it's so coarse, it won't stay in the nose. So. As Squinty would say, I've got snuff all over me. Another one for the other nostril. Uh, yeah, this is a messy snuff. But in the nose, it's really, really good. 
I didn't just want to stay up there. Okay. It does clog your nose a wee bit, and that is because of the coarse grind and the high moisture level. It burns very ever so slightly. In the nose, the first thing that hits you is the peppermint. It is not the candy-like peppermint that you would uh, that you would get from the candy canes. This is more like um, more natural um, peppermint essence or extract. It doesn't have that. Um, And it isn't, isn't cooling like uh, Wilson's of Shero's peppermint. But it is more satisfying because it's not one dimensional. It has that nice scent of tarmac, ever so slightly smoky. And just keeps, and the tobacco base here. It's not two, two separate scents, not peppermint and then tobacco base, as it often is. Here it's a much more kind of combined scent that's still, you know, it's combined, but it will stand out like this. So, there are three flavors going on in this snuff. There is tobacco base, there is peppermint, but there's peppermint and tobacco base together. That's the only way I can explain it. The peppermint is now fading ever so slightly, leaving me with rich, rich, rich tobacco taste. I don't really get any nose pulse here. I don't feel a quickening from nicotine. Um, and I must again say, my nicotine tolerance is way too high at the moment. But I'm gonna rate this uh, three or four. Uh, please cor correct me in the comment section if you disagree. I find this being a wee bit low in nicotine, but it's brilliant. It has a brilliant flavor. It's really good in the nose. I would have thought that this would have felt uncomfortable and like a foreign object in the nose. It doesn't. I can smell it's there. I can't feel it's there. It's really, really good. Um, if they haven't changed the recipe after Gaweth and Hogarth have bought it, this is a damn good snuff. And you should all get yourself a dark seasonal pinch of peppermint dark. From Samuel Garwood. And having this high nicotine tolerance, I would have preferred a higher nicotine. So it's not going to be 5 out of 5 in my book. Because I want a pinch of snuff to feel more satisfying. Uh, even late in the evening, as it is here, I want to feel that nicotine quickening. And it doesn't give it to me. So it's going to be uh, four, four and a half uh, on the scale from one to five, where one is a revolting snuff and five is a beautiful, perfect snuff that couldn't have been better. There is a lot of drip on this snuff. After you've had it in for five minutes, starts really pouring down your throat. It feels like it wants to fall into a drip. It <coughs> oh, yeah. And a bit of the grain hit my throat here. But the back drip is delicious. The only thing to say here, the back drip is delicious. It's really mellow. It's not Lowering, it doesn't annoy the throat. It just gives an extra layer of 
flavor. And it reactivates the peppermint. Really, really good. So if you have the chance, try Peppermint Dark from Samuel Garwith. That's all for me today. I'll be back with more seasonal uh, snuff reviews probably tomorrow. See you there.